ask and you shall receive a blow dry tutorial for this week's video. So many of you asked how I styled the 80s shad cut I did a few weeks ago, and it's time for me to break it down for you. So let's go. I'm Summer. For those who are new to my channel, here I do a mix of cutting and coloring tutorials as well as product reviews and styling tip videos. I love a good blow dry tutorial as well. It's a very fun service for me behind the chair in salon. No cut is complete without a proper blow dry and I am so excited to break down how I got this 80s inspired shag styled. And I got to try out a brand new dryer today, which is always so fun. Today I'm using the Timo Air Hype. This is brand new in their lineup and she's not only beautiful, sleek and light, but packs a punch. I am so excited to break down its features for you guys while guiding you through this blow dry. So I am trying with this specific blow dry to create a lot of body and bend in the hair. So I'm going to use a volumizing mousse first and then work it through all the hair. Once that is in, if you need one, you would then want to place in any sort of smoothing lotion or frizz control cream. And I will link some of my favorite products below. Comb everything through the hair and you are ready to start your blow dry. The Timo Air Hype has four, that's right, four heat settings of 80, 140, 180, and 210 degrees. For this blow dry and when using on myself, I opt to use 180 degrees, but if you have super thick or ultra coarse hair, I would use 210. I love the LCD screen to easily see which setting you are on and to select your temperature, you simply push the bottom button on the front handle of the dryer. First, I'm gonna just do a light rough dry throughout the hair to get out the excess moisture and to help shorten our blow dry time. I like to get the hair about 70 to 75% dry. Now that we have that done, I will section off the hair. If you've watched any of my other blow dry tutorials, you know I like to do multiple sections to get the best results and prevent any damp hair from rusting on the dry hair below. The Timo Air High comes with three different nozzle attachments, all that are magnetic. They have an adjustable diffuser to meet your curl needs, a comb nozzle to effortlessly glide through your hair, and a smoothing nozzle, which is what I will be using today. So for this specific shag, I'm opting to use a larger round brush in the bottom nape section of the hair. While I want volume and movement in the hair, this section is where we are getting our length from, and a larger brush will allow me to keep some bend in the hair, but keep more sleekness in the length. I'm making sure to still roll the hair into the brush and work the Timo Air Hype top and bottom of the section to get the hair evenly dry. Moving into my next section, I still opt to use a larger brush, which is the Cricut 400, but I'm gonna be lifting the hair more at the root and really work my section side to side, up and down, really to create the most shape. I will run my dryer top and bottom of the hair when moving the brush, and once again, roll the section into the brush, dry top and bottom of the brush, and then let out. Using these same tips I've mentioned, I will finish off this section. I'm using the fastest speed setting for this blow dry as I do with all blow dries like this. The Air Hype has three speed settings of gentle, medium, and fast, all which can be changed by pushing the top button on the inside of the handle. Now that I am to the mid sections of the hair, I'm switching to a smaller brush. The Cricut 390 is going to create a little bit more bend and movement throughout the hair. The reason also for switching is that with this cut, the layers get shorter, and for the most bend, I like to be able to wrap the hair around the brush more than I would be able to do so with the 400. The more I move up to the top of the head, I try to create the most lift as I want a lot of fullness with this particular blow dry. If you were wanting less volume at the root, you would opt to pull the hair straight out instead of up or pull down more at the root while drying your section. If maximum volume and bent is what you are trying to create most in your shag cut blow dry, you can opt to use the cool setting on your dryer to lock the shape into place. And on the air hype, you can easily switch to cool by either pushing the front 
front bottom button to 80 degrees or simply by pushing the on switch to the top setting and then switch back to your middle position to go back to your original heat temperature setting. When blow drying the bangs of a shag, I will simply just push the hair side to side with my round brush to get the most of the moisture out of the hair and then I start to roll the hair. If I am wanting a little bit of a part in the middle, I will roll the sections away from the hair on the sides to create more separation. The hair along the face, I'm continuing to use my 390 brush and I will do a mix of drawing the hair towards and away from the face. And then I opt to let the hair out of the brush going away from the face. I will repeat on the other side to match. Like I said before, the Air Hype is Tymo's new dryer and using this for this tutorial as well as on myself, I'm super impressed with it. The heat and power of speed, I find to be an upgrade from their previous dryer. It's great when a company delivers with good products and better upgrades. For my final section at the top, I really pull the hair forward to create the most lift. Again, work your section from side to side. I like to use my cool shot button to lock in the shape, to place it in, and then I will let out from my brush. This type of blow dry takes me roughly anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the hair type. At home, this might take you a tad longer, but this is also where a good dryer comes in handy as you want the most efficient speed and heat, as well as weight to get you to your end result sooner than later. Once everything is dry, I will take my air hype and on the cool setting, I will run the dryer all through the hair to set everything and just slightly mess it up some and it will be time to finalize styling. When I am using the air hype in salon, I opt to use what is one of my favorite features of this dryer and I put it on self cleaning. This is an amazing feature to be able to keep your dryer clean and working in tip top shape. To do so, you simply just turn the dryer on and then back off. Press and hold the airflow button that's on the top of the front handle for five seconds and an auto cleaning begins of an eight second countdown, blowing out any hair or debris that might be in or near the filter. If you are using this dryer at home, I recommend doing this once a week to keep your dryer nice and clean. To finish my blow dry for this shag, I like to use a dry texture paste. My favorite is AG's dry lift texture and volume paste. I start with a thumbnail size scoop and I will work through the hair and add more as I need. I try to make it as neat messy as possible, moving the hair in towards the face some while creating a little bit more texture throughout the rest of the hair. And I like to add a small amount of paste to the bangs. Once everything is in place, I like to finish off with a hairspray and my go-to is always Moroccan Oil's Strong Spray as it's got a good hold without being too stiff. So there we have a styled 80s shag inspired haircut. If you haven't seen my tutorial on this cut, I will link it below for you to check out, as well as all the products used, including the Tymo Air Hype. This is a really awesome dryer, and once again, Tymo has impressed me with another tool. Be sure to check it out if you are in the market for a new dryer. I will have a link below along with a discount code in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.